we have a, a fun little treat to begin with before we get to our, our panel. We have uh, Manson Chung here. Manson works for Mattel Hot Wheels. He is a 3D designer, specifically of nerdy stuff. Uh, and uh, he is responsible for designing um, this right here. Uh, and he's gonna come up and tell us a little bit about how he does what he does. He has a little bit of a presentation to accompany it, so I'd like to welcome, and if you would please welcome, Manson Chuck. Good evening, everybody. Well, so uh, my day job is uh, I sculpt a lot of the cars for Hot Wheels. And my night, my night job is I also design some of the Hot Wheels. And one of the, one of the Hot Wheels I designed was the DeLorean and also the Back to the Future DeLorean in um, all the scales that I'll, sh I'll show you guys later. I have a slideshow. <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right. All right, Hot Wheels, back to the future. Here we are. So the first thing um, I, do, I did was I did the, the uh, stock DeLorean because you gotta start with the stock DeLorean. And um, it, was, it was a long uh, process to try to get the team to accept the DeLorean into the Hot Wheels line. But long story short, I finally got it after about seven years of begging. So the first thing I did was I did a lot of research on the car. I did not have the car uh, at the time when I started working on the uh, DeLorean. So I did a lot of research. I got some um, orthographic views from the internet and a lot of pictures uh, from the internet. And I, at, at the time, I had not really seen a DeLorean face to face. So here's um, uh, my sculpting screenshot of my of the sculpting program that I used. And you know, I had orthographic views, and I just do a basic shape. And after that, you can see it's starting to come alive. It's pretty exciting for me because this is the nerdy stuff that Adam was talking about. <clears throat> and then I started adding details like the front fascia, the lights, the uh, the um, rub strip, and then we start doing door cuts. So right now we're just building the DeLorean, building in uh, the louvers. And this is the final uh, rough model. Now, when I did this, I kind of did this on my own. And before, you know, getting the license or, or, or whatever, and I presented it to the team, they were like, wow, maybe we should do this. So, awesome. Uh, so, uh, after making the, the, uh, the solid buck, you know, a solid model, you gotta uh, piece it or separate the parts, because uh, how these cars are four parts, it's chassis, the interior, the body, and the windows. So this is the process that I do to separate the parts and uh, try to figure out how the pieces fit. And this whole process took me about 40 to 60 hours of uh, just sitting in my cube, staring at pictures of DeLoreans, obsessing over DeLoreans, which is not a bad thing. So here's the interior, is, uh, you know, just mapping out where the things I thought it went based on pictures. Uh, See through, you can see through the uh, all the parts. So the green is the window. Obviously, the louvers were uh, separate piece, body separate piece, interior and chassis. This this was a five piece car. And uh, oh, what happened to the oh? So there's a sliding thing. So after this, the the year after this, uh, I got my car, uh, uh, just a regular stock DeLorean. And they told me that hey, we got the Bath Future license, and I got even more excited because I got to do, or I said, I will do it. I let me do the Back to the Future car. So one of the cool things was I had to watch the movie many, many times, <laughs> which is awesome. And it's part of research, right? So um, uh, at the time, all I had was a DVD, so I would just like pause and, you know, I would look, look online for a scene, like a YouTube, and obviously pictures of uh, screenshots and some fan-made stuff as well, but I would have to, you know, look back at the movie and make sure I got all, all the details right. So, I'm building off the uh, existing DeLorean with the flux, flux bands, the flux cables, um, the flux boxes. I don't know all these terms exactly, but someone will correct me. Um, here's a shot of the interior, the flux capacitor, of course, right? Um, and uh, 
you can see here, there's, there's cables here. That some of those were uh, omitted because we can't do that in a small uh, three-inch car. But this is what I wanted, but we, could, we couldn't get it. So there's, there's some detail of the rear deck, and you know, if you, if you ever see the car, I hope I got most of the detail correct. What did I do? Oh, okay, sorry. So this is the. <laughs> this is my first time driving. Um, so that's the, there's the uh, the roof, the ceiling ceiling uh, details, and the better detail of the fusion reactor. And I wanted to do the first car because, you know, when I was 10 years old and I saw that car, that car, pull, pull out of Doc's van, that's the one I saw, was, was with the, the Dodge Polaris hubcap uh, fusion reactor. I have one of those Dodge Polaris hubcaps. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, just the park breakup for, for how this car, if you ever want to take apart your car, this is what it would look like. And uh, here's a drawing of the car. So um, I'll, I'll, go for, I'll go over some parts that I, or some uh, product that we've, we've done so far. So this is the package of, this is released in 2011. And you can see that's the car. I was so happy when I saw this on the, on the, uh, on the pegs in the toy stores. So these are the things we, uh, I've, we've done. And um, these are all the same sculpt, but just different deco. So there's the, the first one on the top, uh, your left, left is the, the basic version. And then we did a San, San Diego Comic-Con version, which was which sold out, I believe, every day. We had we had four days, and every day it sold out within the hour. Uh, we have the lights theaters, and uh, actually Julian worked on that, sitting right there. Uh, and the uh, RLC, the, the uh, Red Line Club, version, and that's actually the uh, one with Mr. Fusion on top. So that's a different, at, at the time it was the only only, uh, only way you can get the Mr. Fusion rear deck. And then we, we went to retro entertainment, basically reusing the old scope, but, but better deco than the basic car version. And then the, last year we did the hovering version to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Back to Future. And that was awesome too. And there's actually there's two versions of that. There's a, there's the basic car version, and then to the lower left is the premium version. The basic car version has little wheels underneath, so it kind of looks like it's floating. You can kind of see little wheels. And then the other one has no wheels. It just kind of sits on a hot wheel stand. Um, and uh, we did a Back to the Future 1955 version from the Pohachi Drive-In, the dark, dark brown. So, and I also did other scales because there's a, a Hot Wheels Elite, which is a premium Hot Wheels brand. They did a 43rd scale, which is about four and a half inches. Uh, the part one car, also the part two car. These are actually very nicely detailed. Very proud of these. Uh, there's also a, a 50th scale. It's a very, it's a lower price point, about ten dollars. A um, little bit smaller than the one third, 43rd. And about 10 bucks, pretty cool, not bad. And then one of my proudest ones is the 18 scale uh, part two car with Mr. Fusion. Mr. Fusion opens up, comes with a little hoverboard. And now we're to the present. And this one is the one I am most proud of. It's sitting right there. And it is the 18 scale ultimate edition back to future time machine, DeLorean. And what this does is it's one car, but you can, there's multiple pieces that come with it. You can make all five versions of the car that you see in the trilogy. From part one, from October 26, 1985, at the, at a Twin Pines Mall, without the uh, lightning rod, the, this one right here. And then we have the, the lightning rod version from 1955, and we have the uh, hovering, hovering version one, and the Bahachi driving with the white walls and the the uh, hood, hood box, and also train wheels. So all these things plug in and out, and you can recreate all the things. But that's not it. That's, I mean, that's not all. It also lights up and sound. Yeah, pretty cool. And it was it was, uh, it was fun watching the movie again, extracting the sounds and getting the sequence. Um, I could do a quick demo of it right now, if you want. 
see that pun. I'll try to get you. So there's an arm switch on the bottom. Oh yeah, the, the wheels uh, will fold in and out, so. So that's the sound it makes when it, you know, the, the, wheels, the, wheels, the wheels rotate. So now it's in a driving mode. So when you open a door, you get that hiss that you can't get in a regular DeLorean, but it's, it is in a movie. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, let me, let me do here. Can you all see here? It's not cooperating. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the sound in every DeLorean order once, but then, yeah. <laughs> so, to turn it on, you press the, uh, the center console thing. I forget what it's called. Time circuits. Yeah, time circuits, yes. So, right, right above the uh, center console, so press it. <laughs> so that's the flux capacitor humming. So now you gotta you gotta turn it on. You wanna go you gotta go travel through time, right? So you gotta punch in your time circuits. Well, we're just gonna press the same button because it's easier easier that way. So time circuits are set. We close the door and it will just drive. So now, now that you're back, vents, forgot about the vents. So when, once you come back, you open the door. Out of Plutonia. So that's, that's uh, this will be coming out, I believe in June, so this year. So the cool thing is we 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 uh, snuck this in, uh, for Back to the Future Day on October twenty first, two thousand fifteen, and in our social media with the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and it was the highest uh, liked thing on Instagram with seven thousand nine hundred ninety four likes. So anybody who has Instagram here, I need six people to make it to eight thousand. <laughs> and uh, if as you can see, this is, these are the top nine. Uh, things and number one and number seven is the Back to the Future this this car for Back to the Future Day and that's my car right there and if you look at this where you, that's that's me <laughs> my little car um, so uh, that's it that's that's all we have for for Hot Wheels thank you very much. <laughs>